Am I the asshole for asking my daughter for help? Edit. I want to clarify two things. 1. I am her dad. Not sure why everyone keeps referring to me as her mother too. Everyone keeps telling me the grade due date is actually the post date. If I was allowed to I would post the link so that you could see that the calendar literally says, December 19th, grades due from faculty, and, December 20th grades posted, she literally admitted to lying that they were due Sunday, today. So I'm not sure why people are so stuck on insist ng I'm wrong about that. I'm 54 and daughter is 28. She is home on break from grad school getting her PhD. She's only home for two weeks because she says she doesn't have any more time even though she has a month break. That's been a big thing with her lately. She is constantly too busy to do things with us or help us out even though she does have the time. I got my younger daughter a sweater and it turns out she already has it. I called my older daughter from work on Friday and told her she needed to run and exchange it for a different one. She said okay, she'd do it the next day. I said it needed to be done that day to get the best options and she said she was grading so she can't. I told her that it's not like she can't pause her grading, run out, and exchange it. She said she wasn't going to slow down her work and just said that I should do it when I got back from work that day. I said I was busy too and didn't feel like running out after a long day of work and she said neither did she. But she doesn't have a long day of work, she's sitting on her ass on her computer all day and doesn't even have scheduled hours to work, she can do it whenever she wants. Today things really kicked off because I needed her to pick up an online order for a gift for my mom, her grandma. She again used the excuse of grading, she hadn't even started working yet, it was in the morning and she was drinking coffee and having breakfast. She said that she needs to have her grades done by today but I looked it up on the website and she has until Monday evening so I called her on her BS, and she said she had, other work, due on Monday so she needed to get the grading done today, but wouldn't enlighten me on what this mysterious, other work, is. I said well tough, this needs to be picked up today so I can wrap it and I was going into the office so I couldn't do it. She said that if I don't want to do it myself, then it will be done on her own time. I told her with that attitude she can stay somewhere else and she said, happily, and packed her things claiming she didn't want to stay here anyway but was only doing so because I insisted. She left her gifts and said to not expect her for the holidays and she'll go to her girlfriend's family instead. I think it's ridiculous that she is throwing a fit just because she can't constantly live like she's the only person on the planet but my wife and other daughter is now furious with me. So I figured I'd ask here because my younger daughter is always reading the stories with me. Am I the asshole or am I correct that my daughter is self-centered and childish? You are the asshole. Am I correct that my daughter is self-centered and childish? Nope that's a mirror you're looking at. You are the asshole. This must be a joke, too many ridiculous assertions. The first, suggesting that sitting at a computer isn't work, hard work. Mainly, that you can be surprised she doesn't want to visit when you just use her as an errand girl when she does. Also, none of your requests were urgent so why on earth can't she get them done in her own time? If you're asking a favor, don't be so demanding. Am I the asshole for not changing my tradition day to my dill and making things uncomfortable? I have a tradition that every June and December, on the first Saturday of the month, I make a traditional dish from my country for my family and friends. Everyone loves it and it's a family recipe. Dot. My youngest son has been married to Wendy for three years, together one before. I didn't know her that well, because they didn't live here. Wendy is a rising chef. In June, Wendy asked if she could help me make the dish and I said yes. It was my biggest regret. She gave advice on all seasoning choices and even though I said it's a family recipe, she kept giving her opinion. When that date passed, I made it clear that I would not like any more help, first and last time, she took it personally and our relationship became uncomfortable. Last month, day 16, I received an invitation from my son and Wendy to go to their house, because Wendy was going to make this dish. It was the first Sunday in December. To clarify, this dish is not something you can eat two days in a row, as it is heavy. Some sent me a message, asking if mine would still happen. They know it's always the first Saturday, and I confirmed. On the 20th, I sent the formal invitation by message. My son called as soon as he received it, asking if it would be on the first Saturday and I confirmed and he started saying that people can't eat two days in a row and if I couldn't leave it for another week, because Wendy wanted to do it to get closer to the family. I said no, as it is my tradition and despite finding their choice of date unpleasant, I won't stop them, but I will continue with the usual dates. 
He proceeded to say I'm making things uncomfortable and a week later it wouldn't bother me and used the coin her invite was before. I was perplexed and said that everyone knows it's the first Saturday of the month, including them, so it wouldn't change all my plans. Things got uncomfortable, of course. But I kept it, because it's something that doesn't just involve me, friends and family already conformes. There was a party on Saturday with family, friends. He and Wendy didn't come, and on Sunday, I didn't go, because I worked that day. Many didn't come and those who did, few ate the food, because they couldn't eat twice. Dot. During the week, my son sent a message asking if it was worth it to have done that and upset her, because it spoiled this moment that she wanted to have with our family. He stressed that I could have been the best person, but I preferred not to be. I don't think this attack is very fair, but I wanted an outside opinion. It was the best date for all of my family and friends in December as they get to get together before the festivities, for me too. Tradition that has been going on for 10 years. Added. Many have asked, I apologize for being late. Feijoada is the dish. I know that many people in my country can eat it two days in a row. But we know that eating feijoada in a row is the recipe for a beautiful stomach ache, especially mine that comes with many compliments. Am I the asshole? I don't mind her doing this, I encourage it, but yeah, I found the choice of dates peculiar, six months in the year and any weekend and she chose the only weekend that I always do something to do the same. Not the asshole. It sounds like she took it personally when you didn't follow her professional opinion and wanted to upstage you on your own tradition. Not the asshole. 1. This is a family tradition of 10 years. Traditions are important and attempting to modify or change them is offensive. 2. She is clearly trying to upstage you trying to prove to the family she can make this dish better. 3. Her choice of dates was passive aggressive. 4. Your son is also an asshole for letting this happen. If Wendy clearly wants to get closer to the family she can easily start her own tradition which doesn't conflict with yours. Am I the asshole for not trying to convince my parents to treat all their grandchildren equally? I, 47, got divorced from my first wife when I was 29. We had two kids and my folks loved them more than anything. My ex-wife wasn't happy with the lifestyle that I could provide. I wasn't making a lot of money but we weren't in debt or anything. We had good cars and we had just put a down payment on our first home that we would own. Her boss was rich. He was 47 and he could provide luxuries that were out of my reach. She left me for him. I still had to pay child support but I guess I was lucky that I didn't pay spousal support. I had to work and I couldn't get custody. I got visitation. And my ex made it hard. The kids were young. And she manipulated them. If I had planned to take them to a local resort for our summer vacation she would take them to Disneyland the week before. I would always come up short. Eventually the kids refused to spend time with me. It went to court and I basically had to accept that I couldn't force them to see me and my parents. I met my second wife, 33, at the dog park when I was 37 and she was 24. She had a son who was about the age my son was the last time my parents got to see him. My parents accepted him right away. He loves them. My wife is like a daughter to them. It is what I always wanted for a life. We have two more kids now, 8, 5. My stepson is about to graduate next year. So a few years ago my dad sold his company. He is an engineer and he had some patents that ended up being worth a fair bit of money. He paid off my house. He also made educational funds for my three kids. He figured the older ones were done school and hadn't bothered to visit them in years so they didn't need anything from him. Turns out that was wrong. My ex-wife married a scam artist. He was rich. But he wasn't rich enough for the lifestyle she wanted. So he stole from his clients. And then he went to jail. My oldest kids are in a lot of debt. My ex is living with her parents. She recently tried to tell me that my parents needed to be fair with all their grandchildren. I told her it was their money to spend on the people they loved and who loved them back. She said that we were punishing her kids for her mistakes. I said that both of our kids were adults and hadn't made any effort to see me or my parents in over a decade. She said I'm being an asshole for not convincing my parents to help her kids. Not the asshole. It's not your money and your ex and the kids made their choices. This is like getting angry at a will. It's not supposed to be fair. Not the asshole. Don't fall into your ex trap again. I understand kids being manipulated but at the same time your parents didn't have much choice with either of them visiting or even greeting on special occasions. I would want my near and dear to enjoy my fruits of labor rather than some distant family member.
Not the asshole, she made her bed and she must lie on it. Kids are adults now, they could have made an effort to know you and your family, they didn't. She's only reaching out because money bags was money rags, and she realizes what she could have had and hoping to still cash in. It has nothing to do with you and your family, but about how she can cash in. Am I the asshole for letting my son get fast food and bring it into a wedding reception? My son, 22 male, is a picky eater. My cousin was getting married and had a lovely reception with a nice buffet. Johnny wasn't a fan of what was served so I let him leave and get some food. Word spread amongst our family where he was going and a few people asked him to bring things back so he did. We are at a table near the dance floor and you could probably smell it there but nobody in our immediate family had a chance problem, even the bride and groom. Apparently the venue and the family of the bride were appalled and I don't understand why. It was a great party but he wanted something different and other people did too. So am I the asshole? Edit. He's 22 years old and in college. He has no medical issues, he just has a limited palate. When I said, let, I meant, let him take my car since we all rode together. Further edit. The food was served buffet style. A nice soup, salad, tenderloin, barbecue beef, pasta, a few other selections. It was actually really good for wedding food. Everyone else who partook in the fast food did so because, well, it was there and tasted good. They didn't have a problem with the venue's food. Also, as some people said, one or two chicken bones did end up in the floor in the venue. That was unfortunate. You are the asshole for sure. You should have arranged something beforehand instead of doing it like this. Oh, and stop enabling your adult son, he is 22 FFS. You are the asshole. At most, he should have slipped out, eaten, and returned quietly. Letting it be known and eating at the reception is a veer yasshole move. You were rude, disrespectful and trashy. Apologize and teach your son better. Also he's 22. Um, enable much?